Hi, my eighters. Judy Ann here from just 8com and today we're going to be making ground beef croquettes, aka potato balls. All right, let's go ahead and hit the kitchen. Disclaimer, this is a sponsored video and I have received this product at a discount and or a free exchange for my honest and unbiased opinion. I've gotten something in the mail and I want to say thank you for whoever brought this to my attention. Now I'm going to go ahead and give it an open. I wonder what it is. It's been a while. <sighs> thank you. <laughs> Alright, tongs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for these. These will come in handy. Wow, aren't these cute? These would be perfect for my koroke video. So for this koroke recipe, we're going to be using our leftover mashed potatoes. So two cups of mashed potatoes. And then since we have ground beef this week, we're going to be using half a cup of ground beef in this one and then carrots and peas. That's half a cup. Comment down below to let me know if you have tried ground beef croquettes. Make sure that this is all mixed in together. Now, that's one of the great things if you have uh, ground beef for the week and you made mashed potatoes your leftover mashed potatoes and your ground beef could be turned into these potato cakes and or I like to call them koroke which is in the Japanese term and now we're going to turn these into little cakes so now that this is all mixed up pretty well, we're gonna go ahead and scramble our egg. Beat. Okay. Oh, beat our egg here. Cause we're gonna be coating this guy and then we're going to put it in our panko. Okay? All right, so we like to put panko so that it can have that crunchy effect in the outside. All right, so let's go ahead and start making these koroques in our hands. A little bit in our hands and make a little ball out of it, okay? Now, I like it to be, this would be what, golf, golf ball size? It's a little bigger than a golf ball. Tennis ball size? No, that's, tennis ball is a little bit bigger. Did you know that we did a cookbook? Check out our link in the description box below. The ping pong. The blue ball that, that the homies like to play with? Yeah, the blue, um, the hand, well, that's handball. <laughs> yeah, the homies like to play with the blue ball, you know? <laughs> it's the same size. Um, so it's, <laughs> I want to say it's in between golf ball size and ping pong. Anyways, so and eventually you flatten it like this, like so. And then we're gonna drop it in the egg here. It's kind of tall though. Okay. All right. Put it in the egg wash. And then putting it in my breadcrumbs. So now I'm grabbing it from the egg wash and I'm dumping it in with the panko. Actually, I see a section of the plate. Okay. Now I'm going to shake this. <clears throat> okay. Now, if you saw my unboxing earlier, we're going to be using these cute tongs. I got orange. They know that I like orange, huh? 
and green. They had teal, that would be perfect. I'll take green. I'll take green any day. All right. Flip so this baby around. But be careful. Make sure it's still intact. I'm gonna shake this guy up. Okay. All right, and then get this guy out of here. See the bottom, and I'm not happy with my bottom. A lot of people are not happy with their bottoms. Just kidding. Um, so I got green okay. and orange. Get this guy out of here. Okay, I think I beat this guy up pretty well. So, just fix it with your hands, since I was being too rough. <laughs> okay. Just the reality of how it is in the kitchen, right guys? Okay. All right. Ah, okay. There's one. So that's the first one. And now we're gonna make a gazillion of these. All right, so I'm gonna get my hands dirty now and I'm going to make this ball. We want to make it into a size, a golf ball size, or ping pong ball, ball size. Okay, and then we're gonna swish it down in the palm of your hand, and we're gonna drop it in the egg wash, like so. Make sure it's coated both sides, okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and add punko. Now I like to add my punko in stages. Um, some people like to add it right, like you know, I said four cups for this whole entire recipe. Um, but I like to put it in stages because sometimes you end up having leftover punko that you didn't use, and I hate to be wasteful. So I like to use one cup at a time in my recipe, okay? So we're gonna drop the corn kit in here. I'm gonna shake this guy up. Coat in both sides. Grab my tongs, my beautiful, petite, cute tongs, you guys. And we're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil. Now that was like three tablespoons into the pan. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and drop the coroques in. Okay, now it's done. This guy needs a little flipping. It's always gonna be medium low heat while you're doing this. Oopsies. That guy needs a little more time. But this guy is fine. Just like that. And now, I'm going to try the ground beef koroke. All right. Now, if you're like, I ran out of okonomiyaki sauce, and so I made it with the peanut butter sauce. Mmm. Mmm. All right. So, my eaters. Mmm. You gotta try this peanut butter sauce. You know what I like to say? Expand your mind, explore your palate, and let's keep chasing the flavor, my eaters. We'll see you in the next video. Maybe you'll I'll see you in this one. 
or in this one. I'll see you in the next video. In the next next one.